Now this week, the Northwest Education Department hosted Teachers Awards at the Sun City Resort in Rustenburg. The event was aimed at recognizing teachers for their dedication despite the challenges they face on a daily basis. News of Africa's Rafilo Saboko filed this report. Teachers from the four Northwest districts and education stakeholders gathered at the Sun City Resort in Rustenburg for the 23rd Provincial and National Teaching Awards. Educators have been described as pillars that hold the society together as they are responsible for nurturing future leaders with the necessary knowledge. A member of the South African Principal Association says he's been teaching for more than 40 years while Beatrice Moirani has been in the profession for more than 30 years. Uh, as we speak now, I'm 41 years in the field. The situation that time was very fascinating because the, the first uh, support base during that time for me was the parents themselves. When I arrived, the parents that side, the most interest of them was not education, but livestock in, in, in itself. I was in a position to change their mindset and the parents started to know the importance of education. It was not easy. Believe you me, it was not easy. But because teachers then had that sense of determination, you know, that sense of commitment, and we knew from the training that we came from that teaching was not um, a profession but rather a calling. So, so we were rallying behind, you know, the teaching that we received from the colleges of education to say, I am here to make a, an impact for a, a South African child. Then it was for a Buputatswana child. It was not easy, but we made it. They say a lot has changed in the education sector, including people's behavior and the use of technology. Back then, we, 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 we had very minimal um, uh, cases of misconduct. You know what? We, 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 we taught learners who knew what the respect is. The difference then and now is that in that time, the most fascinating thing that would keep me going was the parents' availability that time. You call a meeting in the village, everybody comes, even the headmen and the entire uh, system of the tribal authority. That was very fascinating. Remember that time, it was not more about the money. It was about the human support within the community. Today, the difference, which is very big and also fascinating, is that now we are able to use the now fourth industrial revolution facilities where I am also able to run a school or run a meeting even if I'm far away from the school because the environment now in terms of the fourth industrial revolution is very, it's very great. Messages of support came in encouraging the support of teachers by the government to help improve the sector. I believe that the time has come to not only prioritize the performance of our educators, but also to care about the mental well-being. We can only expect excellence if we tend to the needs of our teachers. The MEC of Education in the Northwest says the ceremony helps to boost the morale of the educators. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Rafilo Seboko in Sun City Resort in the Northwest.